Hi, my name is Christian Key, and welcome back to Celebrating Everyday 2020 with me. Today, March 24th, 2020, is American Diabetes Association Alert Day. So to celebrate, I am having a quarantine-safe, long-distance interview with my best friend who's going to tell you a little bit about himself and this disease that he has handled triumphantly. Hey, Christian. I love you, and I miss you. Stay safe out there and sanitize for you and everybody else. Um, well, my name is Jose. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes three years ago, uh, whenever I was 23 years old. I'm 26 years old now, so I've been living with this thing for a few years now. Um, there's different types of diabetes. There's type 1, which is the one that I have. It's a, uh, it's um, um autoimmune disease. And then there's type 2, and then there's also gestational diabetes. So I'm really glad that you're doing this video today, Christian, to bring awareness to diabetes, it's really important that people know the different types of diabetes and don't just associate diabetes with, you know, your food, your age, your diet, or your genetics, or your lifestyle. Um, and I'm also really thankful for the American Diabetes Association for making today an awareness day for diabetics out there and for everybody that wants to learn more. You know, it's important for us to be educated on this topic. Well, thank you. Love you, Christian. Sosito, I love you too, to the moon and back. Thank you for helping raise awareness with me. If you wouldn't mind, can you share with us some symptoms that you had that kind of made you realize that something was wrong with your health and what life has been like for you since you've been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes? All to the moon and back. Um, well, I honestly wasn't really paying attention to my body at first. I had lost like 20 pounds within like two months. Um, I was just literally drinking a, sh a lot of water and I thought that I was like, oh, I'm just thirsty all the time. Um, that's why I'm losing so much weight. But I literally went down from like 155 to like 125 in like two months. So that was really a first sign. But um, and also, I mean, now that I know some signs and symptoms are excessive thirst, which I had um, weight loss, which I had peeing a lot. I literally would get up and pee like four or five times a night. And towards the end, right before um, Christian, which I consider her my glucose guardian girl, um, she's the one who actually came over and like persuaded me and took me to the ER because I was like sick. I was throwing up. I couldn't like hold anything down. I was lethargic. Um, I noticed probably like a week or two before I went into the ER, I was just so tired all the time. Um, I remember the night before I went in, I went to Walmart thinking, I drove myself there thinking I had a stomach bug or a flu or something to get some Campbell's soup and I ended up falling asleep in my Jeep and I woke up and it was like the next morning, I didn't even remember and that's because my sugar levels were so high in my system that I was starting, to, I could have gone into a diabetic coma and my body was going through a DKA um, or di diabetic ketoacidosis, which is basically the reason why I was drinking so much water, peeing a lot, because I had so much ketones in my in my system. Um, I had really bad shortness of breath like that day that I went into the ER because the acidity the acidic acidity level in my blood was so high that it wasn't allowing the oxygen to flow right. Um, and yeah, it was just it was crazy. I ended up in ICU for four days. And um, after that, I had to go to about like two months of di diabetes, uh, diabetic education, had to learn about, you know, healthy diets, how to carb count, signs to look out for, um, what healthy range my sugar should be in. Um, life since then hasn't really been too bad. Um, I check my sugars literally four to five times a day, depending on what I'm eating or how I'm feeling. Um, I've had some stressful times in between there, you know, it can get annoying. You do get like some anxiety, always wondering in the back of your head, like, oh, like if I eat this, I wonder what my sugar levels are going to be. But I've gotten a lot better at it, you know, logging stuff down. You can basically eat anything I want. I, I can, as long as I know my insulin to carb ratio, um, how many units of insulin I need to be able to cover that meal. So if I'm eating a cup of ice cream, I'll probably need like six units. If I put some whipped cream, some chocolate syrup, I'm going to need like 10 units. But um, yeah, it's just all about portion control. And I'm getting back into exercising and stuff. So that's really important also. That's what my doctor recommended. Making sure you go to your doctor visits. I go to my doctor visits every three to six months. Get your A1C checked, which is your average blood glucose levels in a span of three months. You always want that to be in a good range. Um, 
just got my feet checked. Make sure you don't have any neuropathy where you, you lose um, sensation in your nerves and your feet. Um, got my eyes checked. They're perfect, you know, because if you're having high blood sugar levels for a long time, that can mess up with all of your arteries and stuff. From all that sugar flowing through your veins, it, it, it can damage them. So yeah, just really paying attention to your overall health is the main thing, which really honestly, that's what everybody should be doing. Thank you, Jose, for sharing your insight and wisdom with us. I think it's a message that we can all take to heart to really keep in mind of how our body is feeling and watch our own health, especially not just dealing with diabetes, but with this scary virus going around. And I just have a few questions for you at home. Um, do any of you or those that you love have diabetes? Are there any preventative steps that you've taken to make sure that you keep yourself and your body safe? And lastly, what do you have to celebrate today? Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have an enlightened American Diabetes Association Alert Day.